Um, mother of Maher uh, Fadila, uh, you have been in the United Kingdom in Wales for quite a few years. Uh, when did you arrive uh, to Aberystwyth? Uh, I'm arrived on 2016, 1st of November. And where did you come from at that moment? I came from Egypt. And is that where your story began? Yeah. Uh, coming to Aberystwyth? Yeah, I came to Aberystwyth from Egypt. But where are you from originally? I'm from Syria. Syria. How did you get from Syria to Egypt? Uh, we go to uh, to Lebanon first, and after we take a uh, take ticket from uh, Lebanon and go to Egypt. We left Syria on 2011, no, 2013, sorry, uh, in uh, in April. Uh, we go to Egypt by by flying, and uh, we. We go to Egypt on. I am pregnant for another daughter. I have daughter when I left Syria, one daughter. Uh, we go with my mom and my sister and my husband. Uh, we arrived to, to to Egypt and we see my brother in Egypt. Um, yeah, and after we stay in the Egypt three years and a half with my family and uh, the UN support us and help us for coming to here. They calling me and ask me if you want to go to United Kingdom and I told them yes I want. Because uh, difficult life, uh, everything is expensive for us and we just to try to, to go to a safe place for my children, for uh, for good life in the future, just I I thinking about my my children to uh, to go to university in the future. The, just when I they ask me to dra uh, traveling to U United Kingdom, just I want safe place, some 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 life good life for my children. What was the journey like from Egypt? To uh, it's difficult because not anybody come with us. We are don't have speaking English and and the, the traveling is Germany. And when we go to Airb Airb airport, 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 sorry, no, airport, sorry. Uh, I uh, I don't know what I can do. I don't know where I can sit. And I want to speak uh, with body, no, everyone speak English and Germany, I think. Just uh, one, we just scared, difficult time, everything is dark because not, uh, in the night about one, one and a half in the morning. morning. Uh, just we scared just and one person, he thinking we are not speak and he speak Arabic and English. He is very kind, and he told me, "Give me your ticket, please." And I give him, and told me, "We are stay, me and daughter, my mom and dad, and too far from." It's feeling very difficult. Mm. This problem was me in traveling. Yeah, and when you got to Aberystwyth, uh, were you with a government-supported group, or were you the local community sponsorship? Uh, we uh, come in uh, to Bristol and uh, the Red Cross and uh, uh, somebody translate for us. They support me and look after us. Yeah. And in Aberystwyth, who welcomed you to Aberystwyth? Uh, welcomed from Aberaid. Aberaid. Yeah, they are very kind and, as well and local here is very kind with us. <laughs> yeah, I have to, to, uh, to to found friends here, I'm when I started to go coffee morning in the university every Wednesday. I saw local community here and the, this making friends mm -hmm. that very help for me. You tried to make a, a new life for you and your family here. How was that? When I came to here, I just feeling crying and scared, and I feeling, I feeling I am where I am. 
Mm. Yeah, like this, I ask him, ask me and ask my husband where we are. We went back to Egypt because we scared, scared because we don't have language. I can read and writing, but I can't speak with people and understand every word. And my children is scary because no, 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 anybody here. They go to school, scared, no, have friend. Just about two months for my kids, and after they speak English, making friends, happy. When I saw my children, I am still at home. I can't go to shopping or something. Everything I think difficult to find it. And me, uh, after I saw my children happy, I'm just making me confident to stay. Mm -hmm. Because always I think, no, I went back. No, I, why, why I have come here? Just like this thinking. But when I see my children happy, and me feeling confident, confident. I, I go to college every three days in the week and coffee morning one in the week and making a lot of friends and they very welcome it the community here every time smiling good good and say hi and just make it comfortable and feeling good for me friendly and when i walk here and we started to go to shopping go to see yeah i now i love upper swiss <laughs> It's not you. It's not central to, to 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 Wales or to the United Kingdom, and the weather is so different than Syria and and Egypt. Uh, yes. How did you acclimatize to that? When I go to Egypt, in Egypt all the time summer, yeah, and very hot, different. In Syria we have four season. Yeah, yeah. But what I come to here, I came on the first of November very cold, mm. I feel cold and winter, but I remember, I remember my country in Syria in winter same here yeah. and sometimes cold than here. Mm. Yeah, this when I walk, oh, I remember when I'm very young, like when uh, smelling trees or something, I feel like I remember when I go to school in September, like, like same, same season, I love autumn because I have mem memory in my mind when I am very young go to go to school the start same here yeah this making me a little bit happy you started a business here tell us about it yeah I started with with the group Syrian community we started on 2019 yeah uh, we are now three ladies me and Rula and my mom uh, we uh, we started from Medina restaurant. I love when I came to home. I love go to Medina always. Mm -hmm. I spoke with a lady named Rose. She support us for started the business. I know. And when we came to when go to her, she, we want to her. I told her uh, can uh, use your kitchen and restaurant one day. She very welcome it, and we started from there. And after we had now making marketing, uh, uh, Syrian night, yeah. And that's going well. Yeah. I've seen awards on Facebook. You got an award for that, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, we have, yeah, in, in Cardiff. In Cardiff. Uh, and also in Abris was last year. How did you find the people that assisted you when you first came to Abris with? Um, Do you think that help made a difference for you to feel the place as well? Place? Yeah, yeah, very important because when uh, uh, when we come, like we are lost ourselves, we don't know what we can do. Mm -hmm. uh, when they uh, uh, they came and help people, uh, yeah, very important because here have uh, letters have. Uh, you need to go to GB, you need to go to hospital, you need uh, uh, in the job center as well to find job. Yeah, that's very helpful. Just, just a final question. What would you say to the local communities about their responses mm -hmm. to refugees or asylum seekers? Uh, I, you need, they, they support them and help them for found job and for welcoming 
they already that, but uh, this very helpful for people. Just started a new life for them because they come from difficult times. You need support by by speaking, by feeling, by give give them support. Just not only money or something. You need money exactly, but but you need love. When feeling love, this making the people support.